Hello, Les from Thailand here. Today's video is going to be an unboxing. Unboxing of a couple of solar powered devices. I'm convinced that solar power is the way to go. Now, I've tried a few things with regard to solar, and I think that the small items are probably the way to go. So, today I'm going to unbox two items that I think will be very useful in the future. And the first one is, let's have a look. I ordered these from Lazada and they came today very, very fast. Only three days for delivery. Now, I've already done a few solar things. I've got solar powered lights, floodlights around the house. And they last for 10 or 12 hours. I'm very, very impressed by the price of what they are. And this is, Obviously a solar panel and a light fitting. Comes with the remote control as well. So this is the light fitting that I got and the reason why I bought this is because you can easily change the batteries in these. Now there's pictures here of the floodlights that I've put around the house. They're a little bit more difficult to change the batteries once they need to be changed because eventually the batteries will stop recharging and you need to replace them. So I'm going to do a breakdown of this and see what how it works and how it fits together and um, I think you'll be impressed. And the battery is already in there so we'll have a look for being able to replace the battery once it's it's worn out and it's past its usefulness. So as you can see, three in there. So as far as being able to get access to the battery and replace it, it's also simple, very, very simple for DIY installation. And that's all I'm dealing with is DIY installation and those people that can actually do it themselves. So I'll put it back together now and uh, we'll see it when it's working. Two screws, that's all it takes to be able to put it back together again. Plastic housing, so waterproof and a remote control, which helps everything along. So I'm sort of impressed, it's, it's a cheap light fitting, but we'll get some ideas to how good it is once we plug it in. So the uh, solar panel, which charges it up, well again, is, um, I intend to extend the solar panel lead because it's never long enough to be able to to put it where you need to put it to be able to put the light up. Um, I'm going to use these lights for outside, that's what I'm intending to use them for, so we'll be able to put these onto the roof or in some position where it will be able to charge everything up. So the lead really isn't that long, maybe it's a couple of meters long. So what we're going to do, I'm going to put it in the sun for now and then um, see how it charges up and see how good it charges it up. Because as it comes now, it's probably uncharged. So let's put this in the sun and see what we can do with it. So let's put the light in the sun, see if we can get it charged up. So hopefully that should charge that up. Okay, that's the first one unboxing done of what it is. The light fit in. It's a big, some batteries, some screws, some roll plugs. I say we'll deal with that when we come to fit it up. I don't really know where I'm going to put it yet, but it will go somewhere. And the second thing that I've got, um, now we use this particular item all the time in the house 
we have air conditioning but my wife doesn't like air conditioning so I bought let me show you in the box well packed and uh, so let's see what we've got it is a solar powered fan now, as I say this comes with it's a 16 inch fan which is what this, the same size that we use already but electric and the idea is with this is to see how much the battery lasts for, for because we use the fan nearly all day and we said we use the fan on the night time in the bedroom so we're going to see how long it lasts for even if we would just be able to use it during the day it's some sort of saving of electricity now that's the size of the panel to charge the battery that comes with it now I'll leave some prices as to what I paid for these towards the end of the video so you can see exactly how much I paid for these things um, as I say 16 inch fan So here we go, we're going to put it all together. Now my idea of this is because I like playing around with the electrics and things like that, is that if this sort of breaks with a, with a, I don't expect it to last very long because it wasn't expensive. But the idea is, if the controls break, we have, uh, a 12 volt fan which can be controlled by the solar panels that I've got. Now I've got some bigger solar panels. Now for those people who have watched my programs before with regard to solar I had uh, an inverter which was linked up to the to the grid system but unfortunately the gardener came around one day and he pebble dashed the the panel and, and smashed all the glass on top of the solar panel and also there was a, a lightning storm and I think that blew up the diodes within the inverter so it wasn't worth replacing the inverter but I'm still a fan of solar panels and solar power is why I bought this because I want to see if this gives a return a quicker return than buying another solar panel and inverter so I'm going to put all this lot together So let's go and plug it in and see what it does. See if we can get it charged up. So again, it's got a, a phone charger, DC charger. So let's go and see what it does. And let's do the same with the fan. Put that in the sun and let's see if we can charge light is working. It's working from the sun. 
It's been a week now since I bought this, this solar panel and light fitting and what do I think of it? If you watch this video here you'll actually see how easy it was to fit to the roof without actually not fastening it to the, the tiles on the roof. It's easy to do, took less than 10 minutes to do and the results, I'm not overly impressed. Now this light here only lasts for maybe 8 hours when it's fully charged up. Whereas these ones here last for the full 12 hours or so. It might have something to do with the size of the battery, I don't really know. But they give an impressive light out for the 8 hours that they're, that they're lit for. But I'd want them to be up for 10 or 12 hours. It gets dark here in Thailand about 6 o'clock in the evening. And it gets light again 6 o'clock in the morning. So... They need to be on for at least 12 hours for my um, likability of it. But eight hours, it's better than nothing at all, isn't it, I suppose? And it's free. So eight hours, it's not too bad for the price. Uh, 450 baht, I think they were. So less than 10 pounds and it's free once it's on. So it's not too bad. So what about this, the fan, the solar panel fan? Now again, if you look at the box here, it says three hours on fast speed um, now again I've had it a week and I've had the solar panel going out in the sunshine for all day and it's fully charged up with the solar panel the best I can get out of it is two hours I can get three hours if the solar panel is in the sun whilst it's being operated during the day so with the battery and the solar panel you can get three hours, but it doesn't say that in the instructions or any of the literature that comes with it. So again, a little bit disappointing on an evening time, that's what we were going to use it for. Two hours at the very, very most. And again on the box it says up to eight hours on, on slow speed. Now, impossible, it doesn't give you the full eight hours. So again, a little bit disappointing with that, but for a thousand or just over a thousand baht, what could you expect? Maybe as if I put a little bit bigger battery in it, but I've got other ideas on how I can adapt this fan so it can be used with my bigger solar panels. But this is all in the future with regard to solar panels. I'm a big fan of solar power and I will make the solar power work in this house whilst I'm here. So from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand, till the next video, bye for now.